Hello everyone, my name is Burden and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today we're back in Burden's construction zone. This is episode 22 and yeah, we are back uh, near the houses that we made last episode. Um, yeah, they look re really nice. Um, and yeah, so last episode I mentioned that I didn't have many materials after building all these so I went out and I collected a bunch of stuff and so uh, while I was collecting a bunch of stuff I thought I might as well uh, kind of organize my chest room a bit better because it was a mess even though I had all these uh, label type things um, I just put items like mainly in these chests so these chests are still a mess but I cleaned up uh, some of them so um, yeah the gravel and uh, sand chest was like completely full so I split that into two different chests um, and yeah dirt and grass used to be in one chest but now they're in separate chests and yeah, I have a chest for like farming stuff and yeah so I got a bunch of stone and uh, andesite and granite and diorite uh, which is nice and also got a bunch of cobblestone um, and also a bunch of wood so yeah we are gonna be good for a bit but uh, yeah today I actually want to use probably most of those materials on just one building because uh, the building that I'm going to be making today is going to be pretty big. So, I want to make the church. Um, I want to put it right here. I had this design laid out, but uh, I just finished making a design that I actually want to use in uh, my creative world. Um, and it's a lot bigger than this. So, I'm going to have to redo some of this area, but that is okay. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to move it more over here because I don't want it to be touching the wall. So yeah, uh, it's going to take a lot of work though because it is going to be a pretty big building. So yeah, I'm just going to get started and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so I removed the plans for the old, um, church and I, uh, realize something after removing it I don't know if I really want the church to be there because I want to have a big window in the back of the church uh, because that's what mo most churches have and it would really help um, it to look like a church and stuff so yeah but the problem with putting it there is the window would be against that wall not against it but like if you look out the window you would just see the wall and I don't know I don't want you to be able to um, or I want to be able to see more than just the wall because that's like a pretty bad view so I don't know where I want to uh, put the church so, like I'm looking up on these towers like looking down at the whole kingdom and I don't know where else I could put it like I don't know like I'm kind of thinking putting it right in the middle of here but I don't know um I would have to change all those plans but I don't really mind changing those but I don't know I think it would just kind of be weird like in the middle of that like I don't know I guess I will do that so yeah I'm gonna remove these plans now and then I will be right back again alrighty guys so the plans are done for the um keep forgetting what it's called the church um and yeah it actually makes it look pretty small but once I actually have it all built and finished it's gonna look a lot bigger so yeah that is going to be great but uh before i actually get started on the build i need to go to the end because i don't have too much durability left on my pickaxe or my shovel as you can see so yeah i want to get those all repaired 
and yeah then I'm gonna start building so yeah I will be right back once I have some stuff done Alrighty guys, I am back and I finished the clock tower part of the church and it looks really good. Uh, this part was really inspired by Jermsey Boy's castle, or not castle, church, um, that he has in his world and I really liked it so yeah, I took a lot of inspiration from that um, and the rest of the church too but yeah, I tried to change the rest of it like a bit more because this is almost exactly um, exactly what he has in his world. Um, so yeah, I tried to change as much as possible, but I don't know, still looks pretty similar. Um, and yeah, all I need to do now is put a uh, bell in up here, but the problem is I don't have a bell and I don't think you could craft them. You just need to find them in villages. Um, so I'm gonna need to find a new village. I don't think that one over there is definitely not a new village and there's one over here I don't think it's a new village. I don't know though because I Forget if I deleted the chunks or not. I think No, I Yeah, I remember I messed around with deleting the chunks, but I guess I never actually did that so yeah, that's still an old village, so there wouldn't be a bell there. Um, I think the next closest village that is uh, actually a new village is all the way over there, like pretty far. So I'm gonna just get that um, some other time. Uh, it's not a big deal not having a bell in there. You won't really even notice it once it is up there. Um, it just will make it look a tiny bit better. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start working on the rest of the church, and yeah, I will be right back uh, once I have some progress done, so be right back. Alrighty guys, so I finished the church, and it looks fantastic. I love the way it turned out. Um, this is probably one of my uh, favorite builds in this world, if not my favorite build. Um, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, I just love the way it looks. Uh, yeah, it looks great. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it, but yeah, if you come in here, I still need to do the interior and light up the place a bit better because mobs can still spawn in here. Um, I need to get up there and light it up because I saw a creeper up there earlier and hopefully okay there's not gonna be anything up here waiting for me uh, so we can just place some lights real quick um there we go and yeah I'll probably actually remove this part I don't know um so yeah the interior is gonna be kinda hard to do I think I want to um, actually place some spruce wood for the floors real quick so let me place this door back there so it doesn't despawn and then I think I would just want to fill in this whole area with uh, spruce wood uh, and yeah so I don't know what I want to do for the interior it's gonna be kind of hard because <laughs> I suck at interiors and I don't really know what to put on the inside of a church <laughs> um I know there's like the stage type thing <laughs> up here I don't know what it's called but it has like the uh, book and lectern and then there's the seating that would go right here with like a bunch of rows of seats um but I don't know, that may be all I do, but I feel like there is more in churches. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research on what goes inside uh, medieval churches. So yeah, but that shouldn't take too long. Um, and yeah, hopefully the interior turns out nice because I suck at interiors. Um, and yeah, I really need to do more interiors so I could get better.
but it's just so much work. Um, all right, and um, because this episode um, isn't too long right now, uh, I still have time to do some more building. So I think I'm gonna uh, work on the interior now because I really want to uh, get it done. And if I don't do it now, then I'm probably just gonna uh, leave it like this for ever. Um, so yeah, I want to do that while I am still here. So yeah, I'm gonna do some research on what it looks like and yeah, get some materials and then I will be back. Alrighty guys, so I am back and uh, yeah, I uh, did some work on the outside. Um, I mixed in some andesite and also polished andesite uh, mixed in with the stone bricks because I think my texture goes pretty well with the stone bricks. Uh, I really like it. And yeah, I also finished the interior. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. I love the way it turned out. Um, here's a little book thingy. I put this trap door here because I don't really like the way this look um, because the oak wood and also the shape was weird because like the stair and like you could see back side of the stair so I just put um that there and yeah so it looks really nice I also uh covered up the like bottom part of the what is it called um roof so if I break that you can see that's where the roof is but I thought that looked kind of ugly so I covered it up with um cobblestone and I can't think right now cobblestone in stone brick stairs and I left that the way it is because I don't know it looks fine up there I may add some uh, some what is it called uh, logs going across we could actually do that right now so I don't think I have enough scaffolding so I'm just gonna use dirt so hopefully this will look nice, but I don't know, we could try it out. And if it doesn't look nice, then we could always just remove it um, real easily. So let me just block over here. So I think I want it going this way. And then let's just do it every other block like that. And then over here. And then I'm not gonna do this whole thing right now just because, um, yeah, I'm recording and I would run out of things to talk about. So let's just block or break our way down here. And, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> um, honestly, I think I like it better without it, so. I could just remove that real quick but yeah so I put um, some chairs uh, there as you can see and I put uh, bookshelves because um, I ran into a problem with the design of the chairs because there's like um, or if I didn't have the bookshelves there there would be a one block gap between them and uh, I put signs on the edges uh, as you can see down there there's like signs on the edges as like armrest uh, so I ran into a problem where uh, in the gap where the bookshelves are now like I couldn't put two signs in one block because that's just not how it works so I tried putting a full block there but I really didn't like it so I thought that a book shelf would be good and it kind of makes sense because like maybe they have like a bible in here or something that uh people could like take out and then read along or something i don't know um so yeah it kind of makes sense i guess and yeah it also looks pretty nice so i like it um and i was also thinking about putting like some sort of a carpet thing going across here but I don't think I will. I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And yeah, looks pretty nice. Um, 
I did want to have these lanterns hanging from uh, iron bars, but I am not in the newest version right now because I'm still going to try to get the full uh, maxed out armor and then remove that in the newest version. So I never updated so I would be able to get the maxed out armor and so sadly in this version you're not able to uh, place lanterns on iron bars but yeah so that's really it for um oh also I did this little room right here uh, I think I'm gonna like maybe place like an item frame down here and have like a paper or a book in it or something and then have like a flower pot here so people could like write something I don't know to kind of look like ink and feathers and yeah um I don't know I may not do that but I just kind of want to put something on these tables so yeah but that's really it for the um church oh and I still need to put the bell in there but yeah um but yeah, now I want to make a pathway uh, connecting this to everywhere else. And I think I'm going to put either a fountain or a tree, uh, like right here. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to um, maybe make a backup of this world so I could um, build in here in creative mode without like actually... Um, building in this in the actual world in creative mode so it wouldn't be cheating just so i could see what it's like and see which one looks better but yeah so i'm gonna get to work on the pathway and whatever i'm gonna put here and yeah i will be right back Alrighty, guys so i finished the road uh connecting all these different places um so yeah it goes to the church it connects to over here next to the castle and then goes to the bridge and yeah it looks really nice um and yeah I left this little area here like with grass and I might put one of those carrot farms that I made um over here a while ago I don't know how long ago that was but um yeah these carrot farms <laughs> can't really see them still but right here and yeah they're super messed up though because pillagers keep spawning on them and jumping on them and ruining the farmland so yeah i need to fix those eventually but yeah i think i want to make one or two of those over here um i definitely or maybe not definitely but i want to put one here and then maybe another one here and yeah i think that would look pretty nice so i'm gonna try it out and yeah also i said it in the last clip that i wanted to make a fountain or a tree here and i tested those both out in creative and to see if i like it or not and i didn't like either of them so i just decided to not put anything here so yeah um again uh shout out to germsy boy because i got a lot of inspiration from this uh from his church to make this church um and yeah it's pretty similar to his and so yeah shout out to him uh, and yeah so I guess that's really it for this episode because it's too late to start anything else um, and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah so I will see you guys all again next time Bye.